it's time to make this video because most people don't know the difference between bodies any longer. There's no excuse for this. Do not tell me that some people have certain conditions that give them more masculine or feminine features. When you build a house, you start with the structure. Bones are the support system of the body. The bones do not lie. The male bones are stronger and denser than a woman's. The male cranial mass is more blocky and massive compared to the females, which is more rounder and tapers at the top. The female's supraorbital margin is sharper, while the male's is rather round and dull. The zygomatic bone is more pronounced on the male skull. The mandible of a female is more rounded, while the man's is squared. Males have a deeper cranial mass. The superciliary arch is large and pronounced in the male. This is forensics. They must know the difference between a man and a woman's body. What good are you if a body is found and you can't identify the gender of the deceased? Men have a square jaw. Women do not. These are real skulls. What's the difference between the two? Men have a squared head and jaw. Women have the oval shaped skull and small pointed jaw. Men have a brow bone. Women do not. The female's mandible or jaw is smaller. The supraorbital torus, the brow ridge on a man is more pronounced. The woman's pelvic inlet is wider than a man's. Study these pictures. You should have learnt this in school. Which is the male pelvis and which is the female pelvis? The female pelvis is wider which makes the hips wider than a man's. If the pelvis is wider that means the Q angle is wider. That's why women have hips and men do not. A woman's pelvis is wider to allow a baby's head to go through it. Men have a small pelvis because their body is not designed to give birth. Women have dainty bones, small shoulders, short arms, wide hips, fat all over the body. Men have large shoulders, long arms, little hips. You are an adult and I will not do the thinking for you. Next, we examine the muscular differences. Is there a difference between female and male muscles? While men and women typically differ in strength, performance variations are mostly due to a difference in muscle mass. Men's muscles are harder than a woman's muscles. Women can have them, but they're not going to have the amount of mass in it. To get some of the concrete physiological differences in male versus female muscles out of the way right off the bat, a woman's body is typically about 30 to 35% muscle by weight, while a man's body is about 40 to 50% muscle by weight. Of course, these numbers vary by age, fitness level, and genetics. Likewise, healthy women typically have a higher body fat percentage than men means women have more fat on their body than a man does. However, that mitochondria-rich fatty tissue that tends to be more metabolically active than male fatty tissue, which often resides near the stomach, as opposed to the common distribution across the hips and thighs on a woman's body. The difference between a man and woman's muscles are obvious. Women will never have these huge, massive, bulky muscles that men have even with steroids, even with testosterone. So what's the difference between the male and female shapes? Women can get tone and build muscles, but they will never be as large and massive as a man's. Animals know what gender they're looking at. You can't tell the difference. What does that mean? Animals are now smarter than humans. You can see the white hips, at least the three in the middle, hourglass shapes, small shoulders, they're such a low body weight, you can see their ribs, however, those ribs are delicate. They aren't protruding male ribs, there's no Adonis belt. The stomach is still soft, I think this was taken in 2006, this is way before bodybuilding was infiltrated by transgenders. I mean, this is obvious. Wide neck, hard muscles, look at the stomach, Adonis belt. A woman's muscles will never look like this. You can study this video and do your own gender investigations. Now on my second channel, somebody said, Oh, but can you look at this person because I'm not sure. 
Watch this video over and over and over and then you will be sure. Boys reach puberty, releases testosterone. Women reach puberty and estrogen is released. Two different hormones that affect the body specific to the gender. Women have a greater amount of fat tissue on the body which is required for reproduction. A man's body is not designed to carry a child, therefore he has less body fat and naturally more muscle. Women have fat proportioned all around the body. Women have a layer of subcutaneous fat on the stomach and men do not. That's why these celebrity women have flat stomachs after giving birth because they weren't pregnant to begin with. Men have large hands that cover their face. Women have small hands that cover less of the face. Women have a spine that curves in the lower back. Men have less curve to their spine. The curve in the lower spine causes the female's pelvis to tilt forwards. Men mostly have a straight, flat back. Do you see the curve in her lower spine? Why is her pelvis tilting forward? Because it needs to move with the weight of a growing baby. Men do not have a curve in the lower spine. Look how straight the spine is, the flat back. Do you see her curvy spine? Her bum is higher up. And the male has a straight torso, a noticeable Adonis belt. That's why these female celebrities and models lean back to give the illusion of a curved spine. Again, the female has a curvy spine. The bone on the top of his foot protrudes. It does not on the female. A man at 35% body fat, a woman at 45% body fat. It's noticeable. The man's weight is concentrated at the top. It does not carry down to the rest of the body as it does in a woman. We can look at a real life picture of this. Look, huge shoulders, fat at the top of the body. It's not going down to the legs hardly. He's got skinny little ankles, big feet. And compared to the woman, look at her. Small neck, shoulders are small. They slope downwards. She has short arms, the subcutaneous fat on the tummy, the wide hips, the soft knees, and the fat goes straight down to the ankle and her little feet. Who's the man's legs? Who's the woman's legs? The man has the knobby knees, the high calf muscle, the skinny ankles. Look at the woman. Soft knees, low calf muscle, weight gain in the ankles. Women's bodies are softer. They have bigger bums, round bums. Look at the man, straight body, little bum, low on the body, stick legs. Look at the woman, curvy spine. The gluteal cleft on a woman is higher than on a man's. Women have small shoulders, V-shaped collarbones, short arms typically that reach about the crutch. There are variations. I do not need to continue to reiterate that. The variations exist in normal everyday people. These celebrities are not normal everyday people. She has wide round hips and hourglass shape. The man does not. Wide neck, large shoulders, Long arms that hang straight to the side. The torso is straight. These are narrow male hips. Men have a long ring finger and large hands. Women have a long index finger, or it can be the same size as the ring finger and the hands are smaller. This is the case for the majority of women. However, some women do have a longer ring finger. My ring finger is a bit longer. It's not as long as this. But you can see this is not a male hand. This is not a large masculine hand. This is a large masculine hand with a very long ring finger, small shoulders, short arms, wide hips. Why does a woman have wide hips? Because the pelvis is wider. You can see the difference. A man's body is not designed to have a baby push through the pelvis. A woman's is. Women have smaller frontal bone, smaller temporal bones, smaller mandibles, smaller everything. The ilium is more flared. Why? Because the pelvic inlet is wider. Pelvis is tipped forward, causing greater curvature of the lower spine. Say it with me. A woman's pelvis 
tips forward because of the curvature in the lower spine. A larger, rounder pelvic inlet. Why? Because a woman's body is designed to give birth. Shorter leg bones, increased Q angle. Why is the Q angle increased? Because the pelvis is wider. Now, if you take drawing classes and you try to tell them that women have large shoulders and no hips, they're gonna look at you like you're an idiot and rightfully so. Men have wide shoulders that you can fit three heads on. Women have small shoulders and you can only fit two and a half heads on the shoulders. For the man, the hand has the same size as the face. The woman has wide hips. Men have defined muscles while women have curvy forms. This is ridiculous. You should have learned this in school. There should be no excuse that you can't tell the difference between a male and a female body. And you have seen the trolls and the shills on here trying to sell you the idea that women have flat backs and no hips and large shoulders. Fail. What does it say on here? The pelvis on the female is tilted forward. They show you women have the wide hips. Women's hips start higher up. The pelvis moves forward. Men have the straight shape. Women have the curved shape with the wide hips. Men's upper arms are more muscular. They have big hands. Women's arms are slender with dainty hands. Look at it, you can see this is a man. Look at his wrist, it's like a square. You can draw a square on it. Large hands. Compared to the woman's wrist, obviously it's different. Her wrist goes dainty inwards before it reaches the hand. Daintiness in the wrists. Female legs are curvy. Male legs are straight with rounder calves and thinner going down. The line that connects the neck and shoulders on a woman is slender and curvy. Key word, curvy. The collarbone is less prominent than a man's. The collarbone on a woman is less prominent than in a man's. On the male, the Adam's apple protrudes outwards. The collarbone is more prominent than a female's. Why? Because men have denser bone structure. If you take a drawing class, they're going to teach you what people really look like. The male torso is much different than a woman's anatomy. Even though these are drawings, you can see the difference. Women have the hourglass shape, the curvy body. Men do not. The shoulders are wider, the hips are smaller. What's the difference between the male and the female? You can see it. Men have the massive skull, square shapes. Women have the oval or round shaped face, smaller neck, Men have the square chin, the square jaw, the wide neck. A man's skuller is heavier than a woman's, so the neck is wider to support the weight of that on their shoulders. Women have the narrow neck, the small jaw, no brow bone. When you come to my class, you bring your brain with you. Look, he doesn't have a square jaw, but look how big the chin is. The chin bone is massive, tall forehead, brow ridge, wide neck, not on the female, no brow bone, she's not wearing makeup and she's still pretty, tiny little chin, delicate features. The female head is generally more oval shaped with soft round curving forms. The chin is more pointed, the jaw is less angular, the neck is narrow, why? Because a female skull is smaller and lighter than a man's. The male head is square and angular with a strong jaw, pronounced brow ridge, heavier eyebrows, angular shapes caused by prominent bones and muscles, square jaw and chin, strong wide neck to support the heavy skull. This is not a female skull. This could never be a female skull. And if he did do the feminization surgery, they don't have surgery to make the skull smaller. Tall forehead, brow bone, large nose, big chin, Lots of bone on the chin, wide neck, but not for the female. Small face, delicate features, round or oval shaped skull. They've got 3D models, you can see the same thing. There's a massive difference between the male and the female form. Animals know this, for some reason, humans haven't figured it out yet. Men have the larger skull, the angular shapes, women are more curvy, more delicate. 
And this is what people are starting to look like. So it's down to you to study the video so that you know what's going on because these people are being programmed not to tell you what gender they were born, which violates your free will for what you would choose in a partner. You must study the evidence. The honest is on you to study this video and watch it again and again and again until you cement it in your brain so that when you see something, you know exactly what you're looking at.